Racer, we are here with our friend Tom Christensen. I've been to Le Mans once or twice, done okay from what I've heard. Tom, what, what interests me maybe for the first question is when you first came here driving, uh, it was 97, I believe, thinking about how far not just automotive technology has evolved since then, but what's asked of you as a driver. How has your job changed? Well, a lot, man. I mean, in that sense, it's, um, you know, Back then, I mean, that particular car with uh, with US Racing, that yeah, there was no data, so there was I I, I, was, I went into the car blind in that sense, in terms of of gears, in terms of speed, in terms of all these things, and it was from verbally from uh, Michele Alboreto and and Stefan Johansson, my teammates. Uh, that was sort of the only thing I had in. There was no simulator, there was nothing, so I couldn't prepare myself anything else than running the track. And I didn't do the pretest, so it was 17 laps in qualifying before the first race. Uh, nowadays, you, you come well prepared. You can be uh, you are more or less on close to the limit on, uh, on lap three or five, uh, even though you haven't been here before, because you can run the cars in testing perfect, uh, perfectly before, and you can do, do the circuit in, um, in a simulator. So in that sense, it's, um, it's, it's, it's changed a lot. Driving the actual car on the, on the limit, there's asked more today in terms of uh, deliverance. There's asked more as everyone can sort of follow you, both uh, visually, but also <laughs> technically on the, on the, on the computer. Uh, so in that sense, you, you have to be spot on uh, all the time because the limit is, uh, is small uh, nuances uh, of difference. Whereas back then there was you could make more make a difference, uh, positive and negatively, over a lap. You've always been incredibly physically fit, always able to withstand any tasks required inside the car. As I speak to someone like Alan or maybe a Dario Franchitti, some of those who are getting to 40 and over but still at the top of their game, they've always said, when I was having to train at 25, it was easy. I almost didn't have to. But as I get older, I have to push harder to maintain that level. Oh, yeah. Do you find the same? Um, yeah, I'm not, not necessarily finding harder. I mean, I, I, I love that, and it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's very much a privilege being a racing driver and then have the time for that because you know you can find the time for that even though there's a lot of other things um, uh, as well you have to fulfill. But the training gives me energy. It gives me, um, it's a, in a way, a kind of lifestyle, and uh, that's uh, very important uh, to do that, and I feel the reward after every time I have been in the, in the car. Alan describes you as one of the most focused people that he's met. My question is, having been here so many times and had so much, su so much success, does this feel like a job each year when Le Mans comes around, or is there still that sense of excitement that you had when it was new? Uh, it's still very much a sense of excitement of that. Of course, there's the... Um, you, you, you know, there's more questions, there's more uh, challenge, there's, there's many people who like to see other manufacturers winning. There's always a, a different element every year, but there's still very much the, the little Tom born on the gas station want to be a racing driver and trying to, uh, to do well. Um, and that's for, for sure, that's where the focus are, from my dad giving me a helmet on, born on the gas station, all that sort of things. It's, um, it's still there, there's no doubt. Last question for you. This package, the, the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro, has developed quite a bit, but I also look at it and say it seems like the technology is familiar, strong. I look at the, uh, the other two competitors in P1 Hybrid and say, we know they're fast, but we don't know if they have all the reliability. What's your mindset going into this race? Is it 24 hours of maximum attack, or is it do as you've always done, knowing that the others might not be as reliable as they should? Um, yeah, but it's, it's different times in the race. I mean, uh, I, I believe maximum attack for 24 hours completely, it, it might it might be a little bit too much in that sense, uh, or for sure you will uh, have been playing on the risky time uh, a little bit. In 2008, I can entirely say that's what we did. But um, other times we have had this, that approach and it, it has not been uh, fulfilled 100%. So you need to be able to, uh, to adapt. But for sure, there's, um, it's a long race. There's a lot of uh, psychology in it, in it as well. And um, I think you just have to take it at different times and try to be calm and 
and strong as possible. But uh, calm is a, is a good word. Uh, at the same time, you're pushing and driving as fast as you can. Brilliant. All right, racer. I'm Marshall Pruitt. That's Mr. Lamar. Hopefully he'll uh, smell like champagne come Sunday. And I don't know how many. Uh, uh, I'm starting to lose track of your wins, Tom. That's a good problem to have. Hey, you don't predict anything here. That's uh, have to be alert. Always expect the unexpected because never, ever it has gone like you think or you thought or you preferred. Never.